Hi everyone, it's Claire back again. Um, I've literally just recorded this video and done the, the swatching, the live swatching, but uh, it wasn't recording or it only recorded halfway through. But anyway, before I get into that and what we're, we're talking about, let me show you what's on my nails. This is really pretty chocolate brown holographic. So it's chocolate brown and silver, really strong hollow in the bottle. Yeah, so that's the, the hollow in the bottle there. Really, really strong. It, it's You can see it on the nail. I mean, you can see it there on the nail, look, that fallen soldier. But you can see it on the nail, but it's not as pronounced as it is in the bottle. I find that when you get a holographic that looks quite dull and not very holographic in the bottle, it tends to be really blingy hollow on the nails. Whereas if when you can see it strongly in the bottle, doesn't always translate. I mean, yeah, a little bit depending on what light you're in, but it's just a nice chocolate brown. So that's um, Chaos and Crocodiles on my own. Um, and this is, I've got this from Rainbow Connection, um, a UK indie distributor online. I've, I've never heard of Chaos and Crocodiles before and I've not seen them anywhere since. So this is the only one that I've got, but yeah, I like it. So that's, that's what I've got on my nails. Um, now, as you can see, I've already done the swatching here and you can see that it's the blue edition. Um, and this, these two, I had to put another coat on. There's two coats on everything apart from these two, which are three because I messed it up. <laughs> Picking it up. Um, but the first two we're going to look at here, you can see they're very different finishes. Um, but the shade is very similar. It's this kind of bordering on turquoise cerulean blue. And the first one is Butter London, and this is Kex. And while we've got the focus, I'll get the next one, which is DJ Blew My Mind by China Glaze. So, yeah, I think you can see in the camera, they look more similar to the eye, actually. So, yeah, but um, in the camera, the China Glaze definitely looks brighter and paler. Um, and as you can see, they are different finishes, but quite, I still think they're comparable, not not dupes, but they are still comparable. Um, and I've, I've, this is the shade of blue that I've got most blues in across different brands. So this might pop up, this particular color of blue might pop up a few times in Claire Compares. Um, the mid blue, which is more of a kind of sky blue. Um, now these look quite different. Yeah, if you can see there, definitely this one's paler. Oh, I don't have to get bits of God knows what everywhere every time. <laughs> okay, the first one here is Lapis of Luxury by Essie. So these are the two blues that are true, they're true blues. There's not a bit of green or anything in here, they're true blues. Um, so it's Essie Lapis of Luxury and Boho Blues by China Glaze. So they're in that same blue shade uh, category, uh, but this one is definitely paler. It's weird though, because when I pick them off the shelves, they look very similar to the eye, but that's, so that's the, the paler one, which is the China Glaze Boho Blues. And the last ones here are, uh, so this really pretty pale powder blue, baby blue. Um, I do have paler blues. Uh, OPI It's a Boy is even paler than these two because I did a kind of side-by-side -side comparison. Um, this one here is another Butter London. This is a Butter London Mini, but this is one of the staple polishes in their core line. This is Petticoat. I thought I'd smudge that then, but it was the light. <laughs> so that's Petticoat. <clears throat> and this is definitely a, you know, more expensive to versus a cheaper brand. And this one here is Rimmel Pillow Talk. So this one looks paler in the camera to the eye they look exactly the same 
but Pillow Talk has got the only difference is here that Pillow Talk has got let me see that yeah it's got a silver subtle silver shimmer running through it that you can see in the bottle but it doesn't really translate to the nail both of these have got great formulas for pale blues pastel blues um, and here they are this is the Butter London Petticoat and this is Pillow Talk by Rimmel same colour as far as I can tell these are I'm going to go out on a limb and say dupes um, same colour, very similar formula and ease, ease of application, uh, very different price point. So the Butter London Petticoat is obviously a, I think it, I think what, so I'm just trying to think the last time I paid or considered paying for a full price Butter London. I think there's something stupid like 12, 14 pounds. Um, and, but even though this is, yeah, this is one of the minis in the mini man, 12 months of Manny's mini set um, and Rimmel you can pick up from the supermarket for a couple of pounds so definitely different price points for these two. Oh god. I don't, I'm, no, whatever. Um, so yeah that's the blue Claire compares, the blue edition. I'm sure there'll be more blues. Um, so let's put them down here. I don't think they're going to look any different maybe uh yeah i'm just waffling now but yeah there's the blue claire compares and i'll be back in the next one thanks very much for watching bye